are coming off. But it's like we kind of have to put the garland up first because I want this in the middle. That so this garland has like the decorative garland has these hard hooks on the end. So I'm just gonna take it and kind of push it through with the garland that we're adding on. When I tell you this is messy as I don't know what, it's messy. Don't do it y'all. No, do it. <laughs> I'm about to put the command hooks up. I put one up. Hopefully, it stays. And then maybe another one in the middle. Well, this is not even paint right here. This is really, but the, I need more hooks. It's not gonna stay. So I'm also curious, who is having difficulties putting up their decorations? Like, let me know. Let me know. Ooh, 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 what taco shell should I use? Me don't know. Did I just get these? Let me look at the dates. We eat tacos around here so much, it ain't even funny. What? That can't be right, as much as I clean that thing out. Okay, and then, do I want, I think we're gonna use these here. It would be these for the win. Yeah, cause I'm like, in your head, this is supposed to be fun. You know, this is supposed to be cool, nice and easy. I know you guys saw us trying to wrap the lights. I see why people, I see why they have an option for already lit um, garland. It's an investment and it's worth it. Definitely definitely worth it because um yeah having to do that yourself not okay I'm just warming up the meat that I made earlier and now I'm gonna make some shells this eggnog is so good you guys and I've never had favorite day this is the target one I normally get like um is this Southern something? It's like a black one that they normally sell at like Walmart or the grocery store. But this one is really good. It's nothing like a good taco on a Thursday night. I'll be back. Oh, hold on, let me tell y'all this. AJ gonna say, babe, why can't we just lay the garland across the fireplace? Say what now? I 
I'm all done. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's not like it's a bad idea, but you just want me to lay it like. Y'all couldn't, I couldn't sleep, so I'll let you guys see. Not couldn't sleep, I just couldn't sit. I'm trying to see, and this gives me an opportunity to see what I'm looking like on, what it's looking like on camera. So I've decided, and I need to put this on tracking, um, to come in here, at least start on the cabinet. So, as you can see, I started doing the straight down portion. I look even, does it look even guys? Using this um, 3M tape, it comes on a rose, super tiny and I love it. Perfect, probably the best thing I didn't bought with all these ideas that I have. And then you cut it, you peel. This is what's the tedious part. It's peeling this off. And then I stick it on the bottom of here. like that hopefully you guys can oh see me sometimes it will lift it takes a second but it's been staying i haven't had any issues i think it's the the my nails on my skin that kind of pulls it and messes it up but kind of want this to be straight so i pull it tight And I feel like it needs to come over some more. There we go. And then I'll just pinch it on the cabinet side. And it's pretty smooth. Actually, this one probably could have been a little tighter. So we're just gonna pull it. Make sure that we are even and we are even. And there they are. And then I have the reef, some tiny, some a uh, few reefs that we'll probably put on this side because we're gonna wrap them all. It's enough ribbon to go around. Pre-cut. So I'll probably go cut some more because they're all the same with cabinets except for the small ones over the what's the name so yeah they're already once i measured one i kind of went through and did them all so that's the smart thing to do measure one and then cut them all so i'm going to take the next few minutes and do these do this side and then i don't know maybe while i have you guys i say it's going to be individual I think it looks pretty. 